Hi everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a shirt for iClone with any text using a free site called ideogram.com and paint.net and invoke AI. It's also free or you can use any image generator you want. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to ideogram.com. All right. And what I'm going to type in here is create a logo for Paul's Pizza with white letters and a slice of pepperoni pizza with Parmesan cheese. I knew I was going to misspell that, but luckily we have spell check there. Parmesan cheese sprinkles on a black background. How's that sound? I think I like this one. All right, so we're going to go ahead and download this. Copy image. I'll open up paint.net and paste it in. Expand the canvas. I'm going to just look at the size. I think it's 1024. Yep. All right, I'm going to save this. And we're going to call this Pizza Logo. All right, and now we're going to go to pixeldatabase.net. And I'm going to get rid of the black background. But I'm also going to get rid of all this border I don't really want the border so to do that I'm going to just start here and I'm going to say hide y less than 49 so we'll get rid of the uh, top now we're going to say x greater than 900 And then y greater 868 and x less than 144. Now we're going to get rid of the black. And now we're just going to say hide total less than 100. So we got rid of all the black there, I believe. All right, so we're going to download our logo. And we're just going to replace this. So now we are ready to create a gradient for the shirt. So for that, I'm going to use Invoke AI. So to do that, I've got it running locally. If you don't know how to install Invoke AI, I'll put the link to it. It's really pretty simple. I've already created some of these. I'll just go ahead and use one of these to make this go a little faster. Uh, I'll download this one. That's fine. Okay. And we're just going to call this red gradient. And I'm going to open this file up. I want to make this, you can kind of see these little lines. I don't really like that, so to fix that, I'm going to just go Effects, Blur, Surface Blur, crank this way up, hit OK, hit Control F one time to repeat that, and that's good enough for prime time. So that gives me my red background. All right, so now what we want to do, the only other thing left is I want to create some text. And I want the text to say, ask for the cheese crust in a yellow cheese uh, text color. Texture, text, texture, it's probably the word. All right. Oh, I've already used my daily limit. 
Son of a bitch. I'm trying to... Trying to make a video for their site. And they already have... Alright, so I'm going to go get one of these I already created. This one. Let me restore that. I'm going to just restore this one to make it go faster. Okay. See, here's the finished product. That's what we're going to end up looking like. But. Okay, so back here in temp. We're, I'm going to show you this. This is our cheese texture that I created before my subscription ran out. So uh, maybe they'll give me more credits if I show them the video, but we'll ask them later. All right. So what we're going to do now is. Okay. I want to add a layer here. But what we need to do now, we need to get the UV reference from Character Creator. So when you go to Character Creator, let um, me select our shirt. Click on UV. Let me go ahead and just put the shirt back. This is the way the shirt looks when you first start. Fit body shape, default, modify. First thing I always do is change specular to eight and glossiness I crank it up this looks better all right so now what we want to do is get our UV reference so there okay so now what we're going to do is save this this is going to be called as UV and let me go to my temp folder that I'm working in Call that UV, and now we're going to get rid of the black background with pixeldatabase.net. Very simple. Hide total less than, we'll just do 50. Okay, got rid of all the black background. Download, save, just replace over this. Come over here to our new second layer here, and I'm going to paste this in. And now we want to get our two logos. Let me just copy this. So what we're going to do here is add another layer. This goes in the front. That's a little wide. All right, so we'll go with that for our front. And then for the back, we're gonna take this one. And sorry, I couldn't show you how I created this. My subscription ran out and I'm too cheap to pay for it. So over here, add one more layer. Click on, make sure this is selected. Make this smaller. All right. Okay. And now we're going to hide the UV reference. And this is our shirt. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And we'll call this uh, Paul's Pizza Shirt. And that'll be the end of this video. Flatten. Go over here. Diffuse. Paul's Pizza shirt. So there's Paul's Pizza. Might not be centered there. I'm not going to fix it in this video. And here's Ask for Cheese Crust. So that was my video. But I think Ideogram is really cool. I did create a lot of images before I ran out. I just kept trying different things. But anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of Ideogram.com. I'll put a link to it in the video description.